Hello, Wargamers. Uh, exciting news, of course. Uh, today I went and picked up my new uh, Tau Empire Codex, and uh, I want to share it with you right away. Uh, just kind of a superficial look at the Codex itself and not necessarily the rules inside of it. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to uh, what we had before. Of course, all the uh, art is updated. Well, not all of it, but there's a lot of new art in it, a lot of really uh, nice uh, color recoloring of some uh, old art as well and um, you know a lot of the same content that we've seen before which you know since this codex is not a complete redo it's just uh, kind of an update that's not surprising but um, it's all new format and um, you know if you want to play the game uh, this is probably the best way to get the rules so yeah um, one of the things that I think is really cool, uh, let me see where, yeah, where it is, is uh, there's a pretty considerable portion of the codex devoted to color schemes, um, and that's something that we, we haven't really had before, but um, they have a lot of really cool, um, simple graphics like this that kind of help you uh, visualize how you might want to paint your army. And they do that for a lot of different steps and show you for a variety of different models, right? So, like, here's um, uh, Ethereal up here and a Fireblade, Crisis Suits, Fire Warriors, Pathfinders, Stealth Suits, Vespid even. Um, so all sorts of stuff like that is, is kind of cool and, um, you know, adds a little bit more for the, for the hobby. Of course, just tons of photos of the models. Um, you know, a cutback from earlier codices uh, in terms of art as opposed to just photographs. There's a lot more photographs in this one. And, yeah. Let's see. Then you get into the um, hunter contingent and the actual war gear. Basically, this whole portion of the, of the book is actual rules. Um, and it's the same format as we've seen before uh, for other codices. Um, different factions. Um, but yeah, so I think it's a, I think it's a good buy. Um, one thing that I realized just looking at this um, is that the Firebase support cadre is um, actually even worse than I had and remembered it being um, from the leaks. Uh, and so that's disappointing. Um, basically, the, the thing with the Firebase support cadre is that all the models in the formation have to fire at the same target in order for any of them to get the benefit. Um, and so that's problematic because basically you have to fire two units of broadsides and the riptide all at the same unit. And a lot of times that's not going to, that's not really going to be beneficial. Um, so you're really not going to want to sp uh, spend as much firepower on something like that as as that formation is making you do. So that's really too bad. Um, another kind of cool thing, maybe it's right here, yeah. Um, I hadn't seen this in the um, in the leaks, but um, the it does clarify that missile drones and guardian drones can only be taken by broadsides and fire warrior teams. That was probably in the leaks and I just didn't see it, but um, I'm glad that that's in the codex now. Um, you know, just because that's, I think that's probably something that is um, important for the internal balance of the codex. Uh, another thing is that I, you know, I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that says that, uh, AFPs and cyclic ion blasters can only be taken once per army. Um, if you find it in the codex, please comment and let me know below. Um, like I said, it, I just got it right now, so I'm, I'm I haven't even got home. Right, I'm in the car doing this. Uh, so, so if you find out where it is, um, point me in the in the general direction, and I'll give it a second look to to find where that rule is. But right now, it kind of seems to me like maybe the AFP and the Cyclic Iron Bat Blaster can be purchased uh, just wherever. Um, uh, but they can't be taken as a as a twin linked system. So that's fine. Yeah, so let me know if you guys find out a place where it says that you can only take one of those. But otherwise, you could probably have a few of them if you want to. Although, honestly, I, I don't think I would. So, 
All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like I said before, this is just a preliminary thing. We will continue to do uh, all sorts of Codex unit reviews uh, in the coming days and weeks. Uh, so if you want to keep up to date on that, a great way to do that is to subscribe. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and uh, happy wargaming.